the penultimate day on the Tour of the Basque Country. The question is, who could possibly win this one? Stage five of the great race, and a run around to Amorabieta Etzano, around Guernica, and indeed around the tortuous climbs that would define the day. Not big, you understand, but extraordinarily sharp, and plenty of them as well. Well, it's ever going to be a day for a breakaway. Perhaps this was it, and there was a lot of riders were extraordinarily interested in testing themselves. The Parisi Category 2 climb was just an announcement to 15 other peaks beyond that. So many climbs crammed into a day, and Remy Cavagna and Mattia Catania of Sudel Quickstep decided that perhaps it could be theirs. There'd been a lot of skirmishing to try and get in the break, and a lot of hard men had tried earlier on. Fast riders too, like Ethan Hayter. Well, they just could not make it. They weren't allowed to go. Ada Schelling was also struggling, showing his numbers. Would it be for him? Stage two winner, of course, and a man that on any other day might have had a chance. But the way that this race has been taken, the pace that's been put into it has been remarkable. The intermediate sprint, of course, they had a last second to be fought for. Vingago didn't get one this time by. Another intermediate sprint still to come. Maybe, maybe. There will be more on offer. But our breakaway were determined. Sooner quick step have had very little out of this race. They've had plenty of opportunity to go for it. And with a descending pace, absolutely frightening today, nudging up to 90 kilometers per hour, suddenly shredded with these very, very spiky walls almost. Inclines up to around 15%. Who was doing much of the work? In his Grenadiers. They still had a hope for Hater at the end of the day. Well, this race is nothing if not heartbreaking. Last man standing from the break was Mattia Catania. Who then would reach out on the last couple of tests? Five climbs crammed into the last 20 kilometres. In fact, three tortuous ones in the last 15. Well, what goes up must come down, and so did the ambitions of plenty. And by the time we came into town one last time, that intermediate sprint, Shelmo's getting up for two seconds, Vingago taking one, Lander nowhere to be seen. And then a kicker. And in the pants, I think you might say, Ineos Grenadiers were, had done an awful lot of work throughout the day. Would they have done too much? That was the question. The strongest rider looked to be, yet again, Jonas Vingago. The yellow jersey never that far away from the front. And when Felix Goll of AG2R Citroen went for it, straight on its wheel, of course, was Vingago. Well, we passed down one side of a highway, taking a big loop to come down the other. And it was another hairpin, a tighter one, that didn't unwind until 450 metres from the line that would define us. One phase into it, there had already been a split on the last gnarly climbs of the day. And in fact, Hater was out of position and determined to drive on plenty. Bora Hansgra, well, it wasn't supposed to be for Hagita, but he was in a help yourself mode at the end of the day. Shelmos was out of position, the man in the blue jersey, and was desperate to get back and into contention to pick something up at the line. But Hagita had the lion's share of it. No bonus seconds at the finale. For the principals, Higita winning it ahead of Bacioli, Shelmos, Sobrera, Mauro Schmidt, just hampered by that last hairpin towards the end. It's unforgiving, this race, and we've got the biggest day still to come, don't forget. But that didn't stop Vingago going all in, and if he hadn't been hampered at the last, he may well have picked up some crucial violence bonus seconds at the end as well. Didn't quite work out for him. Everything went the way of Igita. Second stage win for Bora. Igita this time. Lala in second place. Overall, trails Vingago by 13 seconds. Shelmos moves up into third place ahead of Godot Sobrero. But really, 13 seconds, it doesn't sound like much, does it? But honestly, on the final day, that's hard to bridge to a man who's on this kind of form. I think he'll go in charge of his own destiny. And it looks like he'll carry it all the way. You'll have to tune in tomorrow for the final stage to find out. 
By what margin, or indeed if he makes it, we shall see.